There is no reason anymore not to run Windows 10 Pro retail version on your PC. Get it now, $12.50 only, instant delivery on a brand new secured web store. Hello, hello, welcome to part 52 of this Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition, the 2021 Ultimate Graphics Edition, as always based on the 2021 Ultimate Graphics Tutorial. So, um, yeah, the last time we were, were here in uh, the Castle of Folk, now, incredible. what are you doing with your mouth, by the way? Incredible. <laughs> um, but, but we had this, we opened the Soul Cairn, where the mother of Sarana Valerica probably is, and she might know or does have the next Elder Scroll and uh, yeah we're about to enter the Soul Cairn so what I did is I went back quickly to Whiterun I sprinted there no I did not I fast travel there and I picked up my helmet and that means I have full armor again so um, let's see I also what did I do I did create a bow if I'm not mistaken yeah this uh, orcish bow uh, because I had the flawless and I was able to upgrade it with the uh, ores and yeah, this is my new favorite bow because it does more damage than the Ebony bow because it does 40 with 15% magicka damage. So yeah, let's go in, I would say. Let's see what we will find in the Soul Cairn. Uh, it looks pretty nice here. That's a nice atmosphere. So let's see. Are these ghosts hostile or not necessarily? I must return to the front line Let's try to handle this quickly. Let's see. Um, look at yeah. Let's see. Is there any way on that mini map? Hanging in the balance. It's very cool. This overall, I have to say, I've never seen it like this. Very nice. That's the last time I argued. See, do my as my dawn breaker. Yeah, it still has enough charge. Okay, that's nice. Uh, it really feels like a different plane. You know, it's it's been done uh, done very well. Oh yeah. Also, I did sell a lot of stuff um, when I when I was back at White Run. So yeah, to save me up some inventory space. And I'm also looking for a different armor mod for. Um, Sorana because I think her um, where is she? Oh here this one is not super high quality which is wearing but uh, yeah I don't want I want it to be very lore friendly I don't want it to be those you know anime skimpy um, outfits I want to have something vampire lore friendly because uh, as you probably know a lot of these vampire outfits are really really uh, way over the top and not lore friendly so I'll check for that later but for now let's focus on here Let's try to find her mother, Valerica. So these souls, I think they are not hostile. That's a good thing. Okay. Cabo. They're pretty strong, you know. I'm not sure if I'm weak or something, but or if they are just super strong. Um, let's see. I can see it with magic, right? If I have affected by something, I have the weakness to fire. That's uh, because of vampiric blood. But for the rest, it looks good, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, is there something we need to do here? Search this chest. Soul gems. They're always good. Yeah, I believe those uh, journals. See what do I have activated? Roll run sprint. Okay, let's uh, check it out. I think we need to go in that castle over there. I also did install a couple of other mods for Serana that she has more dialogue because I understood that a lot of her original dialogue has been cut. 
so that's why um, yeah, I thought it would be nice to bring it back to have some lore. Um, oh wow, look at that. There are also souls uh, from horses, it seems. Let's see, let's see what we need to do here. So what is this place? She's up there, but I, from what I remember, is that we need to do a couple of things. We need to like activate switches or something, or probably um, some fighting here. It's probably not go. Uh, it's not. We'll probably not end without a good fight, I suppose. So yeah, let's just check it out. I have really no idea what we were about to face. Can't remember anything about the enemies anymore, etc., etc. But I do love the overall, I have to say for that for sure. Looks very cool. Almost gives me, maybe you know the game Painkiller? Gives me these vibes. It's a pretty cool game, also pretty old. So, let's see if Valerica is here somewhere. That seems like a barrier, so we can't like enter. Oh, there she is. Hello? Valerica. Mother? Mother. Can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. Yes. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a minute. You brought a stranger here? I'm not just a stranger, I'm Dragonborn. No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? I am the Dragonborn. <laughs> yeah. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volgahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serena speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's Bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Okay. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Mm, that's not what to happen, Adam. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my I daughter? am Dragonborn. I can do everything. Um... If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. What do you know about me, right? Serana? The stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? 
This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Sir, if you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Probably not. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saran. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Mm -hmm. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Sure. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Mwah. That's all right. Um... When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the ideal masters, the custodians of this place. I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn, and in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. Yeah, that's a little bit too late, right? The Ideal Masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. Unfortunately, yes. Since the Keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the Ideal Masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which would give them. Well, are you lucky the Dragon Mart showed up? And who are these Ideal Masters? I know very little about them. They're mystic entities that lord over the soul can, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures dotting the soul can. I believe there's more to it than that. I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings, but they've obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Conduits, through which the Ideal Masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. The Ideal Masters' weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. The ability to summon powerful undead guardians, as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the ideal masters wind up here as harvested souls. Yeah, that sucks. Um, okay. Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness where the vampire can flourish and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. 
What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction. Until every last vamp... I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia. And the only way we can continue to survive in the future. Yeah. Okay, if you like that, <coughs> go ahead and hide for millennia. Um, yeah, last question. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Let's just say a tiny part of you rubbed off on it, and in its place, you should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. All right. Yeah. Thanks. So let's um, let's go ahead and let's try. So we need to kill these um, bone boneyard. What is it? Boneyard keepers. Let's see what the what the quest says. Um, but when we can free the surrounds blood, okay. Free Saran and I will have to locate the Slady Keepers who maintain the barrier around the runes. Okay. So yeah. She said the largest ones, right? So that means probably this one here. And then maybe all the way in the distance there or something. I don't know. Or does she mean these ones? Do we have here stuff which we can loot? All these soul husks. Well, I ex what the heck? Where's this bone man? Oh, here he is. Cabo. But yeah, apparently these guys are not the bone man in the quest. Because these are these keepers. So yeah, I have really no idea. Are they here? Maybe? Let's quick save. Yeah, they are. Okay, okay, yeah, that works as well. There's another one over here. So what was this? This is an extra quest or what? Okay, there is a guy over there. Let's He's kill him. There. Leave something for me, Serana. I will. Uh, it's better for me if I go in melee with him. Oh. Turn arc for skull. So what does this quest say? Um, ah, okay. Okay, we need to return that skull over there. So let's have that quest activated. And we need to still kill these uh, guys, so um, yeah. 
Let's do that then. Let's uh, go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy moly. So how far is it? It's still far away, so I can uh, heal myself while I'm running towards uh, the place where we need to go. Okay, so here are some of these guys. Alright, let's uh, go for the Orca Shield again, and let's quick save. Oh, here's the keeper. Bye bye, buddy. So, where is this corpse? Here it is. Ghostly remains. So that's one out of three, I guess. Um, okay. So there are some more. Yeah, we need to uh, locate the other two. So let's see where they are. Oh boy, who do we get there? Uh, what about this crystal? Is there like a teleportation field or something which we can use? Let's make sure, um, let's see, the quest, we have this one. Now let's disable all the other quests. Okay, so we don't have this. Uh, let's see, where can we like go? We need to go here somewhere. There's no teleportation field or something here, right? Or is there? Oh, there actually is. Okay. Cool, so, okay, let's go to the other two. Let's see, we need to, we can return a skull here, so maybe we should do that. Oh, that's the wrong uh, shout. I want to um, use the uh, whirlwind sprint, where is it? Why don't I see it anymore? That's weird. Oh, I probably can't switch between it if I don't have enough uh, stamina or what do you call it? Dragon uh, shout stamina. Arvac, you saved him. His soul is free. I can feel it. Isn't that awesome? He's such a loyal beast. Here, ah. I'll teach you how to call him to you. He'll help you get around this wretched place. But I'm sure he'd be much happier someplace sunnier. Oh, Goodbye, wow. Hero. Take good care of Arvac for me. Such a good horse. Thank you. So can we use it? To, yeah, thanks. Can we leave conversation, please? So that means we now have something new. Um, summon Arvac? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Let's do that. Oh, I don't have enough magic here, really. Requires 190, but we do have this 
one, right? No? The sooner we get out of this place, the better. Oh yeah, um I did download this mod already. You just can't be bothered but I thought it didn't work, but I now see the items in my inventory. So let's see if this is going to work. If I gave her the light Volker stuff. Yeah, and that works. I think this is a uh, looks pretty cool as a vampire armor and it's being lore friendly but i don't All like right, the have. hood on her i like serana without a hood so oh i actually did spawn two of these <laughs> that's all right let's see so serana yeah this is pretty cool ff right just lore friendly for a vampire and not as boring as those low resolution um ropes yeah that's what i wanted to say uh, let's see, I do have... I thought I had the other... Ah, oh, fuck, I sold it. The other hood, which gave me more uh, stamina... Uh, Magicka points. Because that would allow me to summon that horse here, but... I unfortunately do not have enough... Of that. So we have to use Wolrein Sprint. Why did I sell it? It's so unfortunate, actually. Because then we probably could have used this horse here, which would save us a lot of walking time. So, ah well. I almost want to say we can enjoy the wonderful environment, uh, the wonderful surroundings here in Soul Cairn. I'm wondering what this is. Why is this huge diamond or whatever this is here? I don't know. But does he also have a quest, sir? How does anyone? What do I mean, indeed? If I hadn't lost all of the pages, oh, no. Screw that. I wouldn't be in this I'm not going to find all these pages. Oh, it's Bowman's. Hey, what are you doing? Bye, Bowman. Okay. Some nice soul gems. Let's quick save, by the way, and let's go probably in the second tower here. For what? Oh, there. Too slow. Um, but we want to have some stamina in order to get him. Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. I didn't want to use a potion. Um, but I was running out of stamina. So one good blow and he would have gotten me for sure. So you like the new uh, armor, Serana? I think it looks good and new. Alright, awesome. So let's go to the Orcish shield again. Let's quick save. And let's see if there's any loot here by chance. Nah, apparently not. Maybe here? Somewhere. Also no loot. Hmm, okay. There are some uh, guys here. Any other ones? Or did Saran already kill this? Yeah. Good. So, last one. Let's go there. 
By the way, this extra stamina, which I've got from my uh, two items. So I have this necklace of major stamina, 40 points. And I do have these boots, if I'm not mistaken, which yeah also gives us 50 points. It really adds to the stamina in order to fight. It really gives me a lot of heavy blows extra, you know. So uh, these are very valuable as a fighter, in my opinion. So let's quick save. Let's see how far do we still need to go. Can't see it, so uh, let's just follow the arrows, I would say. Oh, there's also a dragon, by the way. But in that case, I would suggest we're going to um, uh, summon and, you know, maybe use the stammer regen <laughs> ability, which I also have. So there is the third, I guess. No enemies. Oh, there are enemies. Here there are enemies. Sure, stamina is back before we're going to uh, venture further. And let's locate the third uh, guardian. And there probably is a dragon then. I can't really remember that, to be honest, but. Uh are there no stock creatures here? Alright. Looks cool here with the god race. Alright. This also gives me a little bit of Willow vibes. I'm not sure if you ever saw that movie. Um, with. Uh, what's the actor's name? Who also played the goblins in Harry Potter? Warwick Davis. They are pretty strong. Maybe we can use Unrelentic Force. Yep. Let's uh, make sure we drink some stamina potions. Yep, I can use this one for sure. Okay. Bowman wants to enter. Oh, we can't hit him, can we? Or maybe we can. Good. So, let's see. Where is this guy? Um, is there something we can loot from him? No, we can't. Hmm, okay. Tough uh, guys, but very easy to counter since we can just use um, block, you know, to interrupt their attack and counter attack. The only thing we need is stamina, pretty much. So that's a good, that's a good thing. So okay, let's uh, quick save, and I guess the dragon will come. I'm not sure. Again, the wrong shouts. What is that? Full wide sprint. No sign of dragon so far, so it might come when we are. Um, let's see. Um, quests. We need to. Yeah, speak to Valeric again. And we want to roll around sprint. So that was doable so far, I would say. But I do see some um, red dots. Where are they? Oh, 
right over here in the crypt, I guess. Yep. <laughs> He's running away. Let's go. Let's quick save. Now let's see what Valeric has to say and or if the dragon comes. Okay, let's see. Guess we are here back again? Yeah. Awesome, that works. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Yep. Very impressive. Are you able to give us a scroll yes. now? Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. Oh, he's still around. Barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Sure, let's uh, see if we can uh, take the soul husks. Let's uh, use this alchemy lab. Oh, okay, there's nothing really we can uh, craft right now. Oh, he's probably then behind this uh, door somewhere. That's alright. We manage. Something. Yeah, here he is. Okay. So we can do a couple of things. First one is to uh, do this one, and let's go to the pill blade. Okay, so far so good with the minions. Uh, let me check. Let me first disable our timer since it's running off at 50 seconds, else it will scream in my ear. So where is the dragon itself? Oh, there he is, okay. Okay, a land somewhere maybe? Iron arrows. That's not gonna work very well. Um, let's see. Do we not have something stronger? We have the glass arrows. But oh, more of these guys. Okay. Anyone else? There he is. Stupid dragon. Let's see if he's going to land, maybe somewhere. Oh, he's just spitting souls. He's not really uh, that much of a danger. Okay. Come on, go land somewhere. So 
So, Bowman's again. The other guys. Oh, he's actually landing. Okay, awesome. That works. What is it? So let's absorb his soul if we can do that. Oh, <laughs> okay. So let's speak with Philip. Give my astonishment. I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Sure, I'm Dragonborn. Volumes written on Dernavir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaling hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical power while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Yep. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be out. That sounds good. Um, yeah, let's uh, do that. Let's take all this wonderful stuff. What did you want? <laughs> That's uh, that's the Elder Scrolls conversations we uh, we know. But uh, let's see. Um, let's take all this stuff. Do it. You're not push me. Let's take these wonderful books. They seem quite valuable. So. Okay, and let's take the Elder Scroll. Wow, just like that. Awesome. So let's speak to her. Now that we've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your own. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing Brynny the Sun to fruition. Hmm. I appreciate your concern for me, but Serana is all that I care about. You must keep her safe at all costs. All right. Remember all right. that Harkon is not to be trusted, and promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. Yeah, yeah, I will. She's the only thing I have left. All right. So let's quick save. Um. So yeah, guys. Uh, that was it for this part. Hope you guys liked it. Um. Yeah, and we have uh, two out of three Elder Scrolls now. So the last one we need to find. And for that, we need to return to Tamriel out of this soul cairn. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked it. And hope to see you at one of my next parts. Take care. Bye-bye.